So the car had an oil change at 145,000 kilometers and the next recommended oil change is at 169,000 kilometers. <laughs> so that's 24,000 kilometers in between yeah. oil changes with 5W30. If you follow those instructions, you're going to be joining the Discovery 3-4 failed crankshaft group very soon and then you sit again with them in a chair circle. <laughs> SAE 5W Dumbass. Now we're getting visitors. Rainer is going to show us his new to him Land Rover Discovery 4. He's going to learn what can happen at any time. So he's prepared for that stuff. So Rainer got his first discovery, okay? This is. You don't have to walk out of the picture. You are now part of the team. <laughs> this is his first one. Yes, really good buy, in my opinion. Price is excellent. And I gave him a big speech about how the workshops work. Now we're doing our initial inspection here. And look what we found. This is maintained in Kromberg. And you see the oil here? See that oil right here? You see that piece, what is the intake? And look how nicely it was inserted by the sharp. And guess what fault the system got? Intake. So, but it's actually the intake here. So this is a typical thing what you get when you bring your vehicles to Land Rover. They introduce a fault like this, then the vehicle is going into limp mode at one point, and then you bring it back and they replace you the EGR valve. And during the course of replacing it, they actually fix the root cause. So we're gonna fix this now. Yeah, it's jammed quite badly gonna take this entire thing out here for a moment this is the clip and there's another problem see how it has a collision here this piece collides with this piece further inspection this is the o-ring which we took out which sits right here Land Rover maintained vehicle okay I mean this is not causing a huge problem but it's just not nice because the last service bill on this vehicle was, what, 3,000 some euros, what they invested. Yeah. And we have one here left over from Fabian. Fabian never messes around and he wants everything new. So this is his old one. And we're going to try to install that one here. There. And now we got to figure out why this plastic piece is so far out of position. We have two broken Land Rovers in the <laughs> driveway. So that's going to be bad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. We are letting the coolant out. <gasps> oh! I did not get a full shower. And clip it back in. Oh, and guys, did you see that? Oh, that is no. my transmission stand, my brand new one. So it already got a coolant shower. Last thing I want is that on the way home. <laughs> the coolant is going to dump out. So that is a new to us um, Land Rover, so all clips and everything is, of course, beaten up and we don't know what will break and what not. It's yeah, it in, okay? If it isn't in, we're going to get an ever since call from Rainer. <laughs> <laughs> ever since you touched my ever car. Ever since you touched my car. Yeah. It's doing this and yes. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're going to have to remove the fan 36. in order to get this out. So yeah. we need 36 and a special key. I'm guessing when Rainer picked up his discovery, yeah, he, he did not he expect. And he did not expect us to take it apart 100% at the first day. <laughs> oh We're gonna need a 10 millimeter long socket, quarter inch ratchet, which is oh. on the other car. So we have two construction side at once, and of course, mine is neglected. Yeah, here's a quarter inch. Here, that is the. Yeah, I got it. Now it's not. Wow, <laughs> da auch hier. And there is um, a slight amount of carbon in here, just a minute bit. 
I think if we remove that, the car has 10 horsepower more. <laughs> Just a tad bit of carbon. Well, between us, we have and four it's... discoveries. <gasps> I told you not to lose anything. Look is. at that carbon. Oh, yeah. See, there is a good seal in here. Yeah. We're going to clean all this up and we're going to see if we can get it in in the right way. Yeah, let's hope so. So this is not solving our problem. Okay. Oh my god. All mm. that work for nothing. Well, not really, because in order to access this, it needed to be done. Well, but that was also installed wrong. And we need to get the carbon out. Now, that's the first. Oh. So we have never done that on my discovery. Christian likes to clean, remember? No, I don't like to clean stuff like this. This is horrible to clean. Grease. Yeah. So now we're going to put this back together just the way it's supposed to. Oh, yeah, that is always a puzzle and it looks so small, Christian. No, this looks nice. This goes on here. Damn, too small. Christian just tore his new discovery apart. Which he got not even for <laughs> one drive. <laughs> yeah. And there, what do you say now? I don't see anything. It fits here. When you look straight down with the camera, you can see how tight this is. Yeah. So if the hose clamp would sit in this spot, it would hit. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can cut this rip off. I don't see a rip. Well, you're not going to see it once I got it cut off. Oh so my God. it's this rip. Yeah, but is that on all Discovery Force? It's on, I heard about it. There is a video on YouTube from somebody who cut this off before. So we're going to do the same thing. And you watched it? I watched every video on YouTube about Discovery 4 and the ones which are not even filmed. Okay. <laughs> this collar here touches that molding piece that's under there. And it can actually throw out the mounting of the o-ring on this inlet pipe so what you'll start to see is you'll start to see blow by and it's all to do with this equivalent molding underneath there touching the top radiator hose mount so to fix that you can take it off and grind this back we ground off this corner here Okay, yeah. and we changed the position of this hose clamp. See, it's not touching anymore. It's close, but it's definitely not touching. I see daylight here. That's a clip. Thank you. There. See how tight this is now? Perfect. This is definitely tight, and there's daylight. Not much. But you can put a piece of paper in between. We're putting it back together. Yeah, that's... There's a typical Land Rover workshop problem. You see here the airbox, and you see that the front lip of the airbox is not properly inserted here. It's sticking out and it's bent down. So there is actually false air getting in here, and it's not a real problem for the engine, but this air getting in here is not filtered because it gets in above the filter. So we're going to have to open up this air box. Looks like you're never going to get home with your new discovery. <laughs> Let's see if we closed up <laughs> underneath the car. So we're going to open up the air box. Vera, you're talking in German in my good English video. Oh. Now I'm going to get all sorts of comments. Yes, so. I just told Rainer that I got an appointment to drive the Grenadier. Oh. Myself. And I may let Christian do the driving, but if he's mean to me, I may not. It's that problem where where they don't insert the air filter correctly. Oh, it's all crooked. Yeah, so oh you have God. to imagine there is some dude working in this auto house in Kromberg and he f***s this up on every car. Yeah. See, here is now the problem visible. There is clearly here, it's not sitting the way it's supposed to and it's completely bent. Now we're going to have to take a heat gun and bend this back. See, it's not, it was pushing down there like this. It's just not nice. Oh, yeah. 
So. So. Oh, now, oh, that's yeah. something, huh? That's good. That's yeah. nice. It's now nicely seated. All bent back and you can see there's no force anymore necessary. Very nice. The car had an oil change at 145,000 kilometers and the next recommended oil change is at 169,000 kilometers. <laughs> so that's 24,000 kilometers in between yeah. oil changes. It actually got done at almost 172,000. 25,000 kilometers with 5W30. If you follow those instructions, you're going to be joining the Discovery 3-4 failed crankshaft group very soon and then you sit again with them in a chair circle. Guess what? He forgot to screw. No, it's not my fault. I forgot it. it Do you even know where it belongs to? Of course. Okay, good. I took it out when we were still standing over there. That's why I forgot to put it back in. It was in my pants. Oh. It is definitely the most important one. <laughs> Ever since you touched my car. <laughs> there. Ever since you touched my car. <laughs> that fan belt is rubbing on something. So now I need to get two more tie wraps. I don't know what they've been thinking to put tie wraps in here. Camera läuft. Oh dear. Okay. Mach. Oh yeah, yeah. Snoring like a cat. It's snoring like a cat. Yes. So that that clicking noise from the gold wave is a type of thing. Yes, it's gonna be. What's wider? Ah. So we're gonna have to get more coolant in now. Yeah. No, nothing really. A new to him discovery for. Perfect. And the electric e vehicle. Bye. I got three amigos on the autobahn. And that only happens when you drive that car. <laughs> it's HDC fault, I think, was the first one. And then it said vehicle lowered. So we're gonna have to go on a break. Maybe it's because, you know, in a Volkswagen, it indicates this little coffee cup. When you drive for too long, oh. I think in a Land Rover it just turns on the three amigos. Ah. Vehicle dynamics, brake lamp switch. <laughs> it's the second time we got that brake lamp switch. It's a brake light switch. Brake, yeah. It says here actually brake lamp switch. Oh, really? Okay. That, that's a new switch. It might be a wiring issue. So we we'll turn it on and off again and move on. Ooh, it doesn't clear it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh no! So oh, it's good right now. <laughs> Maybe it was a cheap eBay switch. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll move on. And we're not going to be able to fill up here. There's a limit of 100 euros, which is in today's times nothing. Half a gas tank. <laughs> what the hell? Car didn't fit into the Fiat 500 parking lots in the normal way, so we parked it this way. Oh, another one. Yeah, when, it, when they hear Discovery, they all come out. Because they only use the Toyota Watt Cruisers. I have to say, in Germany and probably a lot of other countries, there would at least be some sign here explaining the history of that building. But not in France and not in Italy, unfortunately. If this, if this would be in the United States, you would have your own little national park yeah. and four permanent park ranger. This would be a national historic site with a sign and a museum yeah. and a big parking spot. Quite interesting. I want to go inside. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, this is definitely this is definitely Second World War, yeah. not First. Look at the size of this door. This is solid steel. Oh my God. This is 30 yeah. millimeter solid steel. I lost Christian. He went down the bunker and I haven't seen him ever since. Go 
down four staircases. Four? Four staircases, and then there are tunnels going in all directions, and you lose kind of track in what direction you go in. But the tunnels are long. Further. Oh my god! And I assume those tunnels connect all those bunkers to each other. Yeah. And did you see the one with the steel tower on top? No. Eight inches in thickness, the steel. So there's a little gun tower on top here out of steel. And all these are connected underground. Unbelievable. There's the part number in case you want to order one. Get yourself a G123. If you are not on those famous roads like the Col de Papillon, the Ligurian Bridge Road or Mayra Stura, there are no what cruisers. There's a motorcycle coming from over here. No, that's not. Yes, it is a GTS. It's That was a very scenic and incredible off-road track. That is called the La Bonette and we are going to take the off-road track around the mountain. I, I filmed the part number so people can order it. <laughs> you can probably get it online at Amazon. We're already four low and I got to go, have to go to three low very soon. We're running out of power. <laughs> it's about 30% less power at yeah. 2,800 meters. Yeah. So we reached the highest point. Yes, sure, the round one or the, um, the magnet are here. Yeah, then I take the wooden. So there are more gun towers here left over if you want one. They are on sale. Yeah, on another off road track. Oh, they left the young one. Oh, look at the flies. What cruiser next to a what cruiser next to a what cruiser? And no discovery. Hilux falls in the category what cruiser. Yeah, two Hiluxes. <laughs> That white spot is a hurting dog. So the difficult part is behind us.